Professor Stephen Hawking was one of the most intelligent human beings of our time, so if he was worried about something, you really should be too. A lot of people are fascinated by the idea that intelligent alien life might find and contact our world. Hawking, however, was not one of them. In 2010, he compared an alien visitation of Earth to Columbus's expedition to America. Which didn't turn out very well for the Native Americans. Obviously, there is no known evidence that an extraterrestrial life form has ever visited our planet, but that hasn't stopped us from trying to reach them or from searching for worlds where they might be living. A 2025 paper in the Astrophysical Journal Letters hypothesized that we may be able to detect life on distant planets by looking for a class of gases known as methyl halides, which might potentially support microbial life. Look, maybe it's not the ET some are hoping for, but every small step is still one step forward. Towards the end of his life, Hawking issued a stark warning about the dangers of artificial intelligence. The development of full artificial intelligence could spell the end of the human race. Now, it's worth mentioning that Hawking would have been referring to the hypothetical concept of strong AI, sometimes known as artificial general intelligence, or even a full-blown artificial consciousness. And these ideas are indeed very much hypothetical. Although data and task-based AI programs have taken off in recent years, they're not even close to what Hawking would have been imagining. His concern was that a true AI could begin redesigning itself at an increasing rate, leaving us apes behind faster than you can say Skynet. Humans who are limited by slow biological evolution, couldn't compete and would be superseded. While humanity has yet to develop AGI, or artificial consciousness, the spread of programs like ChatGPT has at least sparked debate over AI's uses and dangers. One 2017 report published in the Journal of Artificial Intelligence Research predicted that narrow AI programs would soon be able to outcompete humans in a number of tasks, including language translation by 2024, high school essay writing by 2026, and potentially even surgical work by 2053. Many would argue that AI programs are currently able to write high school essays at or above the level of some students, so we're actually ahead of schedule in that regard. That said, researchers also believe that there's only a 50% chance of AI outperforming humans on all tasks by 2062, and automating all human jobs by 2137. And even if these programs hit those targets, we're still a long, long way from developing the kind of intelligence that Hawking feared. Hawking believed in history repeating itself, meaning, in his view, it will only be a matter of time before a chichalube-like asteroid strikes Earth. In his book, Brief Answers to Big Questions, he wrote, An asteroid collision would be something against which we have no defense. The last big such collision with us was about 66 million years ago, and that is thought to have killed the dinosaurs, and it will happen again. This is not science fiction, it's guaranteed by the laws of physics and probability. The European Space Agency believes that there are currently about 1,770 objects in space that pose a non-zero impact probability for colliding with Earth within the next 1,000 years. However, not all of them are the 10-kilometer-wide planet wrecker that Chichalup was, and asteroids large enough to destroy a city only hit the Earth approximately once every 250 million years. So while Hawking is probably right that our planet could one day face an asteroid apocalypse, it likely won't happen anytime soon. Stephen Hawking was far from the first scientist to bring up the dangers of climate change, but he was certainly passionate in his warnings. We are close to the tipping point where global warming becomes irreversible. In brief answers to big questions, Hawking wrote, We have presented our planet with the disastrous gift of climate change. We need to go beyond the Kyoto Protocol, the international agreement adopted in 1997, and cut carbon emissions now. Yet, humanity has largely failed to heed Hawking's warnings. The NOAA reports that in 2024, Earth experienced the warmest global surface temperature since records began. But there is hope. 142 countries and over 1,000 companies have committed to net zero emission targets, while the 2019 Green Deal Agreement has reduced EU emissions by 51% compared to 1990s levels. Hawking also had grave concerns about humanity's advancements in weapons technology. Writing for The Guardian in 2016, he said, we are at the most dangerous moment in the development of humanity. We now have the technology to destroy the planet on which we live, but have not yet developed the ability to escape it. Hawking was particularly concerned about nuclear warfare. In brief answers to big questions, he wrote, Nuclear war is still probably the greatest threat to humanity at the present time. It is a danger we have rather forgotten. Since his warning in 2016, weapons have only become bigger, stronger, and more deadly. A 2024 report by the Congressional Research Service found that the U.S. Department of Defense had increased its AI tech spending from $600 million in 2016 to nearly $2 billion in 2024. 
At the same time, the Pentagon requested a budget from Congress of $11 billion for long-range fire research, with $4.7 billion of that earmarked for hypersonic missiles. Hawking understood the potential environmental problems we might face due to an ever-growing population, with the resulting energy usage serving as a one-two punch that could be our undoing. In 2000, he told the Clinton White House's Millennium Council that, in the last 200 years, the growth has become exponential, that is, the population grows by the same percentage each year. Currently, the rate is about 1.9% a year. By the year 2600, the world's population would be standing shoulder to shoulder, and the electricity consumption would make the Earth glow red hot. The good news is that Hawking wasn't entirely accurate on this one. The bad news is that he wasn't that far off, either. A 2024 report issued by the United Nations Department of Economic and Social Affairs showed that the world's population growth has slowed to 0.85% per year, a sharp contrast to the 1.9% from Hawking's speech. However, the International Energy Agency also found that, during 2024, global energy demand had grown by 2.2%, which is faster than the average rate over the past decade. But it's not all terrible. The IEA's report showed that renewable energy was far and away the biggest grower, accounting for 38% of the total supply. Meanwhile, natural gas came in second place at 28%, suggesting a broadening gap between the two and demonstrating the efforts the world has made in moving towards clean energy sources. By the time Hawking died in 2018, he already felt humanity was moving in such a way that our aggression towards one another could pose an existential threat. During a 2015 interview, he said, The human failing I would most like to correct is aggression. It may have had survival advantage in caveman days to get more food, territory, or partner with whom to reproduce, but now it threatens to destroy us all. I fear evolution has inbuilt greed and aggression to the human genome. Unfortunately, human aggression seems only to have worsened since his death. The nonprofit Armed Conflict Location and Event Data reports that, since 2019, the number of global conflicts has doubled, with one out of eight people around the world exposed to conflict in 2024 alone. Meanwhile, a 2023 study in the Yale Journal of Biomedical Medicine found that, as the ambient temperature of a region rose by one degree Celsius, the number of violent deaths increased by 1.4%. One of the great disappointments Hawking felt during his lifetime was a growing ambivalence towards science among the public. During a 2015 talk, he said, We have come to expect a steady increase in standard of living that science and technology have brought, but people distrust science because they don't understand it or feel they can control it. On another occasion, he told the Radio Times, Science and technology are changing our world dramatically, so it's important to ensure that these changes are heading in the right directions. In a democratic society, this means that everyone needs to have a basic understanding of science to make informed decisions about the future. While there has been a decline in public trust towards scientists, it's not as bad as you might think. A 2024 survey by the Pew Research Center found that only 23% of Americans surveyed that year said that they had a not-too-much-slash-none-at-all level of confidence that scientists were acting in the public's best interest. In 2023, 27% of those surveyed had felt the same way, so it appears that we're starting to see an uptick again in the trust we have for science. While Professor Stephen Hawking didn't survive to see President Donald Trump's second term, he was a vocal critic during the first. In particular, Hawking was adamant that Trump's environmental policies marked a step backward for mankind. Donald Trump will cause avoidable environmental damage to our beautiful planet, endangering the natural world. It wasn't just Trump's climate policies that are talking either, as he felt that the 45th president's rise to power was symptomatic of a bigger issue. During a 2017 conference in Hong Kong, Hawking told the crowd that Donald Trump was only one of many right-wing successes that would have a ripple effect on science and humanity. He said, With Brexit and Trump, we are witnessing a global revolt against experts. Hawking's ill feelings towards Trump seem well-founded, at least as far as climate change goes. Trump attempted to roll back some 125 environmental safeguards during his first term, although many of these attempts were unsuccessful. In his second, he has moved to withdraw the U.S. from the Paris Agreement, gutted the EPA and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration, and undone the green policies of the Joe Biden administration. In fact, just four months into Trump's second term, The Guardian reported that Trump had instigated 145 environmental rollbacks, more than his entire first term put together. 